guys, Brian here from Solid Woodworks. Today I want to introduce you to our newest company, Sandy Vans, that I've got involved with in the last couple months. And we have our newest van behind here, I'm going to show you in a second here, and let me tell you a little bit about Sandy Vans. We're a group of uh, friends who came together and we're building Sprinter Vans from scratch. Our newest van right here, Vangelina Jolie, we call her, is a four-wheel drive Sprinter with every accessory you could possibly think of, even satellite internet. So. Let me walk you through the outside accessories real quick. First off, we have the BFG Goodrich KO2 tires on here. Plenty of meat left on them. They're the best tire I've used on my own personal vans as well. So we offered to go with this setup on this van. We have the bronze method rims set up right here on the graphite gray sprinter paint job, which has a nice pop to it. Coming to the front here, we have a nice little bull bar with the dual headlights on the front here. These are some massive um, spot beam headlights with the amber lens so it's a fog for made for fog or rain or anything like that but to complement that on the roof here on our sandy vans roof rack we actually have a massive light bar that'll actually flood the entire area which helps a lot when you're up here in the mountains moving over to the driver's side of the van we have our custom built ladder rack here sandy vans builds and installs on our, all of our new vans the outside of the steps here you can see have these click to lock mechanisms so you actually strap or bolt on anything you really want to onto these ladders. Strong, sturdy, and I'm gonna go up here and show you a couple things on the roof. On top of our vans, we have a 175 watt Red Energy solar panel to charge up our two 200 amp hour lithium batteries. We also always install our Max Air roof fan vents, which helps intake and exhaust um, any fumes or any you know smells you might have in the van. Also helps circulate air really well. Pride and joy of this van build is the Starlink systems, which is a mobile satellite internet that you can set up pretty much anywhere in North America and other parts of the world as well. But since we're in North America and we sell our vans here in California, this is probably where you'll be using the most in the Pacific Northwest and the whole West Coast of America. And we've actually taken it down to Baja and it's running great. Right now we're out here in the mountains of Oregon um, after we finished the Adventure Van Expo. We're just out here camping and doing some emails and kind of checking out how everything works. And right now we're pulling 120 megabytes out here in the middle of the uh, Oregon forest. Moving to the inside of the van, we have a U-shaped dinette system that we think is awesome for a social setting. Uh, you have a couple friends in here, you bring your family on a cool little weekend trip or something, or honestly just going down to the beach for a day uh, down in you know Southern California and uh, hanging out with all your friends. Um, we have a bamboo countertop in this one, which is on a lagoon leg, so it moves around in all kinds of different ways. Spin it over here to get out of the way, have more uh, area here, or obviously work on your laptop, have dinner, all kinds of good stuff. This dinette system can be removed in a couple different ways. You can have your extra piece right here pop out, pull your top up, fully removes, and slide this system all the way out and fully remove it. So you have a full pass-through area in the back of your sprinter for um, trying to move larger items, bringing in your mountain bikes, bicycles, surfboards, anything like that. It slides right back in, and your cushions go right back on super easily. The table system also pops out and lands on these two rails here to create a nice flat surface. You can see the rails down here. All you have to do is unscrew your lagoon leg, take the whole table off, set it down on these rails, and then you easily bring these extra cushions in to make a complete bed system back here, which is a little bit bigger than a queen size bed. Coming to the uh, upper cabinets right here, we have Six massive storage areas over cabinets for all your clothes, toiletries. Up above the kitchen here, we usually keep all of the food. All that up there. Also, for tons of storage area, we have underneath the dinette. Right now we have some more surfing stuff, the extra leaf for the table, blankets, uh, extra foam, and pillows and all that. So that all stores down there really nicely when you're not in bed mode. Coming back over here, we have the whole kitchen area. We have a two burner stove, runs off propane. Nice stand up fridge, which is always fully stocked with snacks and veggies and a couple drinks. Then we have our three drawer system right here that you can store in the bottom. Normally we have all of our kind of pots and pans, cups, toaster, you have your little sneaky drawer up there for your laptop or any sort of other kitchen accessories. Our middle drawer usually has the bowls and plates in here. 
in the top drawer all your cutlery just to finish it out with as much storage as possible this side would this side we decided to do a slide out kind of a pantry wine cabinet style where we keep any stand-up bottles olive oil you can have wine in there obviously all your different kind of pasta sauces and stuff and of course the classic little drunk drawer for all your other little accessories um, the cabinet the cabinet top area right here which is finished in a three-quarter bamboo that we doubled up to make it nice thick and strong has a nice little area right here that's always accessible for when you're cooking prepping have a cutting board right here our favorite accessory inside of the van right here is probably our pop-up charging station so you can push it all the way down locks in like it's not even there you could set your phone right on there wireless charging click two USB and two outside 110 plugs that are connected to our inverter Coming around to our other cabinet here, we have the sink with a removable cutting board bamboo tray. We've got hot water. Underneath the sink cabinet, you have more storage. We usually have a trash can in there, but we also have our hot water system that runs off propane as well. So the hot water system you can use through the sink tap or we have an outside shower I'll show you in a minute. So you can have an outside shower when you're camping. In the front area here, we actually have a swivel seat as well for the passenger, just to give you an extra seat, nice view out the back. We're gonna move along to one of our other favorite accessories, which I actually have my own personal van. We have a diesel heater installed on the floor here that pushes out hot air right here if you're in the winter months or if you're trying to camp in the snow. Also tons of little storage options here for backpacks, chairs or whatever. Right here we keep all of our insulated window coverings which are included with this van the windows we use are these awesome kind of boat style locking super light awning style windows to complement them if you pull down from the top you have a bug screen you can easily release that from the magnet strip here have a nice open window or you can pull up and have a full blackout window uh, honestly, the best thing we have in these vans. I can't wait to put these in my own van. So installed in our newest van here, we have the Red Arc system where you can control all of the electronics that's inside the van. So you have a nice display here with buttons for, you have water pump, fridge, light bars. You can toggle through all the different settings. See your different input and output of the solar panel wattage, dual battery isolator, how many amps your inverter's taking, how much time you have left on your battery capacity, all kinds of good things. You can also turn on all your different electronics from this screen, including lights. All of this also can run through a Bluetooth app you can have on your phone. So you actually turn on your lights, fridge, anything you want with it within a Bluetooth range. If you're out by the campfire and you want to turn on you know, interior lights, you want to turn on um, your water pump real quick, your water heater, anything like that. Right here we have a simple switch for the Renogy um, inverter that I'll show you down here in the electrical cabinet below. And of course, just your remote for the Max Air Fan vent. So showing you that red arc display, now I'm gonna show you the guts of the system. Start at the top right here, we have the Starlink module. You can also use Bluetooth to your phone uh, with an app that shows you all the different settings of your Starlink. When you set it up on your roof or any mobile area you're gonna want it, uh, it'll obviously calibrate itself to the perfect position and get you internet within a couple minutes. Coming over to this side, we have a battery underneath this compartment here. That's a 200 amp hour and another 200 amp hour, which gives you 400 amp hours of capacity. Coming over to this little area here, the Red Arc Vehicle Management System is where all of your electrical inside the entire van will be coming in and out. So you have all your lights, your uh, water tank, you can actually see how much water you have left in your tanks. Everything will run through this up to the display module and then you'll be able to Bluetooth to that to connect to anything in your entire van. Coming over to the next item right here is a Renogy 2000 watt inverter. That's what will be able to power our Starlink, our sound system, the uh, ignition on the burning stove, uh, the plugs up top for plugging your laptop or any other 110 volt accessory you have. This little baby right here is a red arc of all trades, I like to call it. 
because right here you're going to have your solar coming in, you're going to have your um, dual battery isolator while you drive. This will actually charge your van's um, battery and these extra batteries and it will manage the whole system through, as I said, the vehicle management system. This big box is actually a subwoofer that connects to a massive sound bar we have out the back here that can play tunes for all your barbecues or if you're having a movie inside here and you want to put up a little projection screen, you got a nice sound bar up there to uh, listen to all those tunes on. Sipping apple pie motion. So now we're in full bed mode, as you can see. It's a little bit bigger than a queen size bed. Nice, massive area for you and a loved one, or if you just want to sprawl out all by yourself. Also, when you're in bed mode here, there's still access to the storage out the back there. Those three cubbies right there, you can have uh, your gear in there, wetsuits, camping gear, boots, hiking stuff, snowboard gear, whatever. While it's in bed mode, you can still stand over in this area and access your upper cabinets for all your clothing um, needs, of course. What's nice about our build here is we have one of the pop-out windows right here. So if you wanted to easily flip your little latches and pop that open, you'll get all kinds of little breeze coming in here when you're sleeping in the bed. If you want it fully mosquito-proof, you got your little uh, drop-down net or full blackout right there. We have these accent lights right here, so if you are kind of in a you know, sleepy time late at night, you have a nice dim lighting. And yeah. <sighs> Awesome view out here in Oregon.